The Ad Show. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So today we are going to go through my crypto portfolio, but before we do, I need to mention some important information. So obviously, I am not a financial guru, I am not a financial advisor, obviously I could be classed as an investor, but I would like to say I'm a casual, casual investor at that, meaning that... I just do it for obviously for the money but also for fun as well and I like getting involved with the communities that I'm investing in, I like getting involved with the actual projects, I invest mainly in things that I can actually use myself um, and I enjoy that and you'll probably see that in some of these investments as well when I talk through them in a little bit more detail. So we are going to also do this in dollars so generally within the crypto market uh, the US dollar is sort of the default so if you go on coin market cap which is a place where you can track your cryptocurrency uh, or you can track different cryptocurrencies not your specific portfolio I suppose that would be more blockfolio which is a, an app you can get on your phone that allows you to actually input all of your your different holdings and obviously track it properly there um, but if you go on coin market cap or blockfolio for that matter or you go to check any of your holdings normally the default that will be set in terms of currency will be the US dollar or it might even be done against different cryptos for example the main one being Bitcoin and so I kind of have taken that stance that I just do things within the US dollar and so the sort of money monetary value you're gonna see here today is gonna be done within the US dollar so I think that sort of sums it up for what I wanted to say at the start of the video just some uh, things to say there obviously and some things that are important to state. So let's get on with the first investment now. I'm going to go through these investments quite quickly. I'm going to talk a, a little bit about the platforms as well that I'm utilizing with the investments and then we're going to sum up at the end how much I am making roughly per month on a dollar basis and also on a percentage basis and we are going to also uh, extrapolate that out to the year as well and how much in percentage terms I will be making in the year and I've actually not worked it out for I just realized I've not worked out the 12 months for the dollars but I can work that out right now anyway so I'll work that out and we can actually look at the dollar um, amount per year as well and this is going to be the passive income from the investments in fact there is something else that I need to state for sincerity and clarity as well so my crypto portfolio is currently at $14,000 we are still in a bear market if you don't know what a bear market is it's basically a negative market a, um, a market that's really on the down essentially or that's quite low but we are at the bottom of the bear market now a lot of people feel we are now and we are slowly coming back up and I've seen it over the last few weeks especially with the Bitcoin halving coming up in May we're starting to turn the tide a little bit which is good to see and my portfolio has been increasing quite nicely as of late um, so the other thing I need to state is that I am still running at a slight loss in terms of my overall portfolio obviously I'm going to be explaining passive income here and that's slightly separate but in terms of my overall portfolio I'm still about three thousand dollars down and so if I'm running at loss I need to make sure that um, in the future I can be running at profit but with the fact that we are in a bear market a lot of people are running at a loss. A lot of people are, if they're not running at a loss, they are significantly down within this market. And so it's just one of those things essentially that we have to analyze moving forward. And also I have to take into, ca to, into account um, what I'm doing uh, moving forward to make sure that I can obviously get to a better position within my investment. But with that being said, let's get on and let's take a look at the first investment. So I think we'll first start with Library and Library is a platform similar to YouTube in which you get paid for uploading videos and you get paid by the views on the videos. And you get paid in a cryptocurrency called LBC which is the native currency to the Library platform platform and it's very simple to set up this and you can actually do it so that then your videos get automated they go to the platform automatically so when you publish a video on YouTube you can actually automate it so that then they get published to your library page which is brilliant because then that automates the process 80% there are a few things that you still have to do on library manually obviously you need to collect your tips and stuff you need to cash out um, you maybe need to do what's known as a support so you can actually let's say you 
you've got a, a certain amount of library credits or LBC as I said, um, then you can actually tag them onto a video, you can actually put them onto a video as a, as a support and that's essentially almost like advertising your video. So the more LBC that you can attribute to a video pushes it further up the trending page just as if let's say you were going on Google Adword, AdWords which is the Google advertising site and you were to pay you know a few thousand pounds to get your video seen out there on YouTube advertising and so it, it's similar to that essentially. Um, but the good thing is with LBC when you do a support that money isn't gone or that LBC isn't gone that LBC is still yours and you can simply revoke the support and then it comes back in your wallet so essentially it's almost as if you're um, not paying for advertising you're just simply lending that LBC out to one of your videos, pushing it up the search results, and then when it's got a few more views and stuff, you can actually revoke that support and get that money back or that LBC back in your wallet. And so that's quite a nice way of doing it really, and it means obviously that you've still got your initial stake there on the platform. And also, you can use that initial stake to better your channel and make it obviously have more subscribers or followers or whatever have uh, more views, things like that. So that's an interesting way of doing it. And so I do supports on there manually. That's something I have to do manually. But 80% of it is actually automated, which is really, really cool. So I make roughly 2,000 LBC a month and I have a 50,000 LBC initial stake as well. Now LBC are currently at 2.5 cent. So 2,000 LBC at 2.5 cent is $50 a month. Uh, my initial investment I think is just over a thousand dollars now. Might be 1,250 something like that anyway. I will be putting screenshots up so you'll be able to see it all for yourselves anyway. So if I'm getting the figures just slightly off uh, you will be able to see uh, the exact sort of value. I'll put my block folio or something up so you can see uh, the exact value on there. Um, so that's LBC essentially. So if you have um, a YouTube channel or anything like that, then I would get involved with LBC. You don't actually have to invest anything. You can literally go on the platform and you can just upload your videos without having to make an investment. I made an investment because I'm an investor and that's what I do. And when I see a good platform, I want to actually invest in it. So then obviously I can capitalize on the success of that good platform. But also I enjoy it for what it is. I have a lot of enjoyment with library and I use it for what it is. And so when I see something like that, I also want to share that with others and say, look, you can actually um, come on here and you can actually utilize it, this platform um, for your own monetary benefit, but also to have some fun on there as well, because there is a, there are communities springing up on there, like with any uh, social media platform, such as YouTube or Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. So I make $50 from library a month, which is really good. Now, obviously that fluctuates. The thing with crypto that I need to highlight is that um, essentially it fluctuates so much. Prices aren't like with stocks and shares. With stocks and shares, it's fairly stable. I mean, yeah, things can go down quite a lot in a day and stuff, but with crypto, it is very, very volatile. It's very, and that's why it's very risky as well. And a lot of these investments, these could go. These really, honestly, these could go. Same within stocks and shares, really. Stocks and shares could go, but with crypto, there's an added element of risk. So I am quite a uh, risky investor, but again, I'm a young person. Young people tend to go for the riskier investments. And it suits my personality a little bit to go for those more riskier investments, especially when it comes to um, monetary risk. It's always been something that um, gives me a buzz. I enjoy it. It's my style of investing, essentially. So I would obviously give a word, uh, word of caution to anyone who's thinking about investing or anything. Obviously, fair enough, go on these platforms yourself and uh, and look, uh, scout them out and stuff. And if you don't want to invest in them, but you just want to use them for what they are, then that's perfectly fine. But if you want to invest in them, make sure you do your own research, all that sort of stuff. And if you're not very um, good with risk or with... Um, 
I don't know, just fe feeling the ups and downs of things, then it might not suit you. I know in the early days of investing, I was very up and down. I got very, it really affected my mental state, but I managed to get over that with enough time and being in the market and all the rest of it. And obviously through enough fails and, and successes, you start to you start to level out, you start to get into this zone of, of being uh, on a certain level rather than actually being taken up and down um, for the ride essentially. But yeah, so that's LB see so that's a I mean it's kind of a smaller part of my portfolio really but I do enjoy LBC and I actually probably spend the most time on LBC on the on the library platform I should say uh, and so that's quite odd because it's the the one of the smaller parts of my portfolio but it's essentially one of the platforms that I spend the most time on. So next, I suppose we shall go to Hive. So Hive is a blogging platform. It's a decentralized blogging platform that utilizes cryptocurrency. And what you'll see with my portfolio is a lot of these things that I'm investing in are decentralized social media platforms. And that's because I am a content creator. I, I, I would hesitate to call myself an influencer because I don't like that word and I wouldn't class myself as one anyway. But essentially, um, I love social media and things like that so I am obviously going to go and gravitate towards that when I'm looking at investments and things of that nature. So to make money with Hive I do something that's called delegating which is where I have Hive power which is essentially the, the Hive is the token and you power up your Hive uh, into a wallet and then it gives you authority or control over the platform and the more Hive power you have the more influence or control you have on the social media platform, the blogging platform. And so what you can do is you can delegate your Hive power to someone else who needs it. And then they will pay you a sort of a dividend within the, the cryptocurrency of Hive for a certain length of having that Hive from you essentially. And your Hive is always safe. It's always yours by the structure of the delegation platform. So they can never take your Hive off you and it's gone forever or anything like that. There's a structure in place on the blockchain that means that they cannot take that high power so after the uh, sort of delegation period has ended you will get your high power back along with obviously the daily or weekly payments you have been getting from that person um, for delegating your hive to them which is really really cool now on hive i have 20,000 hive i actually have about 20,088 i think it is hive um, and it's currently worth 40 cent. Now, I will put a screenshot up here. Um, I roughly get around, I would say it's probably a bit more than this, but I'm going to go low just because I always go low on things. So I roughly get around five hive a day. As I say, it might be a bit more than that. It might be 5.5, 6 hive a day. Now, currently at the moment, I have not delegated my hive power. I was delegating a few days ago, but I've actually got to do some transfers on my account. So I've had to uh, remove move my delegation for the time being. So for this short period of the next few days, I won't actually be receiving um, any delegation, any delegation income or anything like that. But back a few days ago, and obviously in the future, I will be getting that daily payment of around five to, well, anywhere between five and seven hive or four and seven hive, roughly coming out, as I say, at maybe five to six as an average. And so if hives were 40 cent and I'm getting five hive a day, that's 150 for a hive a month. That means that I'm getting $60 a month from my hive earnings there. And so that is the blogging platform and that is hive. Now, moving on to Steam. So Hive is actually an offshoot of Steam. So I can actually explain, when I explain Hive, I explain Steam. So essentially Steam, I've got 20,000 Steam power instead of Hive power. And so I got a airdrop from Steam of 20,000 Hive. So that Hive didn't actually cost me anything. And it's an exact mirror copy of the amount of Steam I have. Airdrops in cryptocurrency are really, really cool. Essentially, if you're holding so, uh, one specific cryptocurrency um, and then some sort of platform comes along and actually wants to integrate with another blockchain, they may actually provide the users of that current blockchain with what's known as an airdrop, which is where they actually drop the cryptocurrency to the users of that other platform, that, that obviously that original platform, so that then it entices the users 
to obviously use the new platform that's integrated with them or that wants to partner with that blockchain. And so it's very, very cool and you can actually make a lot of money just from airdrops when they spring up. In fact, I've made quite a lot of money just from airdrops. The amount of airdrops I've had, I've probably had 30 airdrops or something over the last few years it's crazy and you can actually look for airdrops as well you can go out there on the internet and look for different blockchains that are doing airdrops specifically sometimes they ask you to do uh, some sort of social media post so that then it gets their platform out there and stuff and they'll give you a certain amount of of coins for that and there's loads of different ways of doing it but that was really really cool so i actually got all my hive essentially for free or what you could do is you could work it out express as the money that I paid for my Steam. So let's say I, I paid, you know, off, off the cuff $5,000 for my Steam. Then you could say the 20,000 Hive and the 20,000 Steam cost me 5,000 combined. So then you would say, well, the Hive cost me 2,500. But it doesn't really matter which, which way you work it. It's, it's all the same, really. So Steam Power. I am currently de delegating my Steam Power as well. And I'm getting 38 Steam a week, which is 170... No, it's not 100. 152. I've got it right, wrote down there. 152 Steam a month, obviously, over a full week period there's obviously 28 days in four weeks so we're a little off but we'll just do it that way for so for a 28 day period which is essentially a month i'm getting 152 steam uh, steam is at 16 cent um each right now i think it's 16 uh cent and then set 0.7 of a cent or something so almost 17 cent and i'm getting how much am i getting for that i'm getting 24 dollars and 32 cent for my steam so for my 152 steam a month for every 28 days I'm getting uh, 24 dollars and 32 cent for that so right now what we've got is we've done the library we've done the hive we've done the steam we've got 50 dollars a month for the library 60 dollars for the hive that's 110 dollars 24 dollars 32 for the steam so that's a 134 dollars and 32 cent currently as it stands per month on a 14,430 power dollar investment and so um that's actually pretty decent i mean if you calculated that out to the 12 months you would know and you did a percentage calculation which we are going to do in a minute because i'm not finished yet but you would see that that's actually a pretty decent return on investment but as i've mentioned crypto prices can fluctuate so one month you can be getting quite a lot of passive income another month you might be getting quite a little a little amount so you've got to take it uh, sort of the um, rough with the smooth essentially and so over a year uh, the actual percentage that you get might be a little bit less or it might actually be a little bit more depending on how the market is performing within that given year it might actually be quite a lot more if the market is really performing, if we're in the, the height of a bull market, the height of that positive market, essentially. So next, let's do Tron. So I have 50,748, something like that, uh, TRX. And TRX Tron is currently worth 1.3 cent. I think that, I think I'm getting that right. So 0 0.013, which should be 1.3 cent. Um, and so I must have... I don't know, maybe about $700 in that, something around there. But as I say, I'll put the screenshots up so that then I don't have to um, guess or do any guesswork like that. So essentially, Tron is more of a games platform, essentially. So it's not necessarily a social media platform, but it's more of a gaming platform. There's loads of different games on there. They call them dApps which are decentralized applications. And so there's loads of different games on there. And I am also invested, my, my Tron investments come in two forms. So they come in win, which I've got um, about 6 million win or something like that. And then I've got the 50,000 Tron. And so off the Tron, I actually, fro I've, I've frozen that and I've, I've literally just picked someone, just a random uh, person to vote for. I might change it in the future because I think I might be able to get a bit better return uh, somewhere else. But it's roughly going to be coming out about 10 Tron a day. So it's not a lot on a 50,000 Tron investment, as you can imagine. The um, actual delegation rewards for Tron or the freeze 
rewards for Tron, I should say, um, are a little bit poorer these days than they were maybe a year or so ago. It seems like they've maybe been cut in half or something. I don't know why that is at the moment, but you can see there, 10 Tron a day, 30 days in a month, let's call it. That's 300 Tron from that 50,000 investment. Now, I also have Win. Now, Win is a uh, sort of a gambling platform on Tron A. Uh, they do casinos and stuff like that on their online gambling. And when you essentially buy this currency, this cryptocurrency win, um, then what you can do is you can actually sort of freeze that to the platform. And then you can actually get a portion of the day's profits from uh, that casino. So that's really, really cool because what it allows you to do is when you freeze that win, uh, you can get maybe, well, on the 6 million win I've got, I'm getting roughly 50 Tron a day um, from the sort of the profit of the casino, which is really, really cool. cool. Now, I have been in Win when it was called um, Trombet and when they had the Anti or the Ant token. Uh, I got in it pretty much from day one. I mean, maybe like the first couple of weeks or so. Uh, and then I actually got out of it. I sold my uh, my Anti and then I, I actually put that in Steam or something like that, some other cryptocurrency. And then after, I don't know, a year or so or, or six months or something, I actually thought, you know what, I'll buy back into this. Um, I think it's a good time to do that. And so um, I thought, you know what, I'll uh, I'll buy back in. So I've got my, so within, within Tron, because obviously Win is a, it's a sub currency within, it's a TR, it's TRC20 token, I believe, which is a sub token on the Tron blockchain. So it's part of the Tron investment in a way. It's kind of, I, I associate the two anyway. So uh, yeah, between those two, I'm getting basically 60 Tron a day on average. Sometimes I get more on the, um, on the win platform, so sometimes I might get a daily payout of 70, 80 Tron, but normally it's around the 40 to 60 Tron. So we're gonna go at 50 Tron per day, and then we're also gonna add that 10 Tron per day for my other frozen Tron. So that's 60 Tron. So I'll just look down here, um, we've got, so for the Tron, we've got 1,800 Tron for the month, 1,500 for the win platform, and then 300 for uh, the frozen Tron as well, and that comes to $23.40. So the total passive income I am making on a $14,430 portfolio, crypto portfolio, each month, I'll have you know, not each 12 months, and I'll work that out in a minute, is $157.72. And that is just over a 1% return per month, which is actually pretty decent for an investment. Um, obviously, if you're investing in stocks and shares, if you're doing maybe a bit more of a risky um, dividend share, you know, you might be getting between 7 to 10%, something like that. You can, there are a few shares out there that you can get 10% for uh, in terms of the dividend yield that are a little bit less risky, but they are more few and far between. And so 12% a year, or just over, it's probably about 12.5%, uh, about 12, 12.5% a year is very, very good. Over the year, that is $1,892.61. From my investment there. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Again, considering that we are in the depths of the bear market, or we're still in a bear market, so we're not at those higher prices yet. And when we get to those higher prices, which are going to possibly be triple or quadruple this, uh, like they were, well, they were way more than that in, in 2017, but even going very, very conservatively in the next bull market as it springs around double, triple, quadruple this, you can see how that passive income would really mount up as well. And also, this is just the passive income. This doesn't, this is kind of excluding the, any appreciation in value of the entirety of the investment. So obviously the, when the investment goes up, and I could actually sell that investment, that's a different thing altogether as well, and that will mean that I may make a lot of profit that side of things, but this is just the passive income. I am a passive income, a dividend investor. Um, I don't really invest in anything that doesn't give me a dividend, and what I am doing actually, just a, as a finishing point, what I am doing with uh, this money as well from now on, with this $157.72 each month, is I'm actually putting it 
it into a stocks and shares account to hedge some of that risk as well and actually build up a separate investing account in a separate market um, and as I say in a slightly uh, less risky market as well. I've also got investments, small investments in peer to put peer lending and things like that and so uh, it is at this point for me trying to see where I can hedge my risk from crypto essentially because I am quite exposed to crypto as a market and so what I am going to be doing is that which means it, it's phenomenal that I'm able to put in just from obviously the passive income from crypto not any other of my own money added to that but just from crypto I'm able to put in $157 a month to a share portfolio close to $2,000 a year, that's really, really cool. And let's say I added to that each month of 100, let's say $100, I was gonna say 100 pound, well $100 of my own money as well put into a share portfolio, you could see how it could grow fairly quickly and how it could could get up there in a matter of four or five years really so I mean at the end of four or five years putting in 250 a, um, a month you could have well I mean you're talking 15,000 and that's without any appreciation or without any dividends I mean you're probably talking more like 20,000 something like that or maybe $25,000 uh, in a share portfolio after four or five years um, just you know doing this sort of recycling my dibs and putting a little bit extra in per month as well like I have been doing or like I did to build up this crypto portfolio so yeah that's really really cool uh, I want to see where it goes for uh, from, from now on really essentially if you liked this video and you do want to see an update maybe in a year's time or something I don't really want to be you know there's not really much point in doing these every month I mean we could maybe do them once every quarter or once every six months but there's no point in doing these once every month so um if you want to see something like this again then please drop a comment down below are you doing invest any investing uh, are you thinking about looking into crypto let me know down below some of the links as well to some of the crypto sites that i use for example library um, is down below in the description i would encourage people to go over and check them out obviously if you're investing, that's a different story. Do your own research. I'm not going to tell you what to do or anything. I'm not going to tell you what to expect. But maybe at least check them out if, you, if you're interested in that. Um, so you can use some of the links down below. With that being said, I will leave it there for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very soon.